being a champion for the safety and well-being of, of victims' families. That is what Families of Slain Children Incorporated works to do on a daily basis. As Action News Jack's Ryan Nelson reports, one Jacksonville councilman is proposing a plan to donate a city vehicle to help the nonprofit in its mission. Hundreds of names of people killed in Jacksonville fill this wall outside of the Families of Slain Children headquarters, and they hope a possible donation from the city can help them transform the lives of the families they leave behind. Beverly Aaron is not the only person in her family to lose a loved one to violence. My sister, she lost her husband. Then he lost his brother. Then my uncle lost his son. It goes a long way. She tells me families of slain children was there when her son Marcus Tanner was killed nearly three years ago, and they've continued to help since they crossed paths. My little boy, she come pick him up, they go to libraries and stuff. They do a lot. She was excited to hear Councilman Al Ferraro's plan to donate a 2001 Chevrolet van similar to this one to the agency. It's owned by the city and valued at about $5,600. He still needs the city council to sign off on his proposed bill. Families of Slain Children Grief Coach C.E. English L. tells me they need the van for their programs and to show the children they help a world outside of their neighborhoods. Getting them out of the, the trauma or the experiences that they, that they currently have gone through uh, speaks for itself. Aaron's praying the measures approved. That's out from God all the way. Coming up all new at 11, we'll take a closer look at the number of children killed in Jacksonville this year. Reporting in Durkeeville, Ryan Nelson, Fox 30, Action News Jack.